So Chase Claypool is a Buffalo Bill now. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't me laughing. That was my impersonation of Stefan Diggs after he heard the news. Buffalo could be in big trouble, that receiver this year. It, that's not exactly a hot take. It seems as if they're trying to replicate a Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey approach with Josh Allen and Dalton Kincaid, and I suppose in theory that could work. And we all know Josh Allen is a phenomenal quarterback, but he is not Patrick Mahomes, who, despite struggling mightily last season due to his receiver situation, still won a Super Bowl somehow. Now, I assume Dark Magic played a role, and I can't prove that, but <laughs> my pledge to you is I will not rest until I can. Now, as far as the clay pool signing is concerned, I'll say this. <laughs> Okay, relax, Buffalo fans, that was a joke. When I crap on a team, it is done in the spirit of humor only. Never, never out of hatred. Okay, maybe like 10% of the time it's out of hatred. Listen, I am a Jets fan, in case you already didn't know, and I consistently dump on them without remorse. And even though my affection for them runs as deep as SpongeBob's devotion to Krabby Patties, I do harbor an unrelenting disdain for them sometimes, akin to Sideshow Bob's vehement loathing of Bart Simpson. Honestly, it's their own fault, really. Luckily, things should be different this season, though. I can't remember an off-season where I haven't said that. My take on the Claypool news, it's a lottery ticket that didn't really cost them anything, so who cares? Low risk, high reward in theory, so let's move on. By the way, I am tentatively titling this show The Great State of Football, though who knows if that'll stick. It'll be a comprehensive dive into NFL news, lightly seasoned with my signature brand of maniacal ranting. Or maybe heavily seasoned, we'll have to see how it goes. With Tom Brady's roast behind us, we may have reached the pinnacle of entertainment history. Even Bill Belichick's showed up with a bag of jokes. I imagine his preparation for the event unfolded in some underground fortress somewhere. Surrounded by court jesters whom he commanded with an iron fist to furnish him with witty quips under the ominous threat of dire consequences. His participation in this roast merely underscores his mental superiority over the rest of you. Now I exempt myself from that previous statement because much like Batman the unparalleled detective, I believe I have already deciphered Bill's intentions. He desired to coach this season but teams foolishly rejected him due to to his reputation for being overly rigid and unyielding, to put it nicely. Now you would imagine his response to that rejection would be to lash out at all of us, but no, not Bill. He has instead decided to take his revenge by regaling us with entertainment. Did you happen to catch his appearance on McAfee during the NFL draft? He is strategically showing us that he has all the makings of a late night talk show host, Jimmy Kimmel, take heed. You may ask what the point of all this is, but it is to showcase for you how Bill is outmaneuvering the entire world once again. Mark my words, because he is showing us he has a lovable side, some desperate owner out there will leap at the opportunity to hand over their entire organization to him next season. And I'm telling you right now, do not be surprised if that organization happens to be, brace yourself, the Dallas Cowboys. I know, you think I'm crazy, and you're probably saying, well, Jerry would never relinquish control to anyone. And I absolutely see your point. However, if Jerry deep down firmly believes that hiring a coach of Bill's caliber could be to Dallas's defense what the Infinity Stones were to Thanos, but that one move could reignite the Dallas Cowboys' utter dominance over the NFC and could potentially secure him Super Bowl glory once again, the man might just dare to do the unthinkable. In the book I'm currently working on, PFD's Codex to Arcane Wisdom, Chapter one proudly bears the title, never underestimate a madman, or in this case, a dyad of madmen. That means two madmen. Now let it be noted that I am fully aware of how improbable this Belichick to Dallas situation is. However, I do believe I speak for every NFL content creator out there with a comedic inclination when I fervently plead to the divine powers above to please move heaven and earth to make this happen. For the truly elite NFL content creators out there, much like myself, I'm just kidding when I put myself in that category. My self-esteem is exceedingly low. Belichick to the Cowboys would serve as a gold mine of inspiration, much like the Renaissance was for medieval musicians and artists. The third piece of news I'd like to cover is Odell Beckham signing with the stupid Miami Dolphins. On one hand, it's better than Claypool to Buffalo. Him working behind Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddell doesn't seem like a bad thing. But Miami will still continue to likely appear superhuman against mid-teams and appear subhuman against the truly elite teams like, I don't know, the New York Jets. I know you're gonna say I'm setting myself up for disappointment, but I just, I can't help it. And Road games for Miami in the dead of winter will likely continue to be as debilitating for them as Kryptonite is to Superman. If I'm being honest, Miami's draft class frightens me more than this Odell Beckham move. Even Malik Washington and Jalen Wright. Especially Malik Washington and Jalen Wright. By the way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And before I forget... <laughs>